Hi everybody, it's Lisa with Osborne Books and More. So there is this myth that goes around. Um, a lot of people have this misconception that Osborne Books are just for little kids. You're familiar with all of our touchy filly books and our fun little lift the flat books for kids. But what a lot of people don't realize is that we do have a lot of books for older kids. So I'm gonna show some to you. My kids are 10, 13, 15, 17 and then I have a baby. So I've just gone through my house, I went to my kids' bookshelves in their rooms and our family bookshelf, and I pulled several of the Osborne books that they are loving and have been loving. So I'm gonna start with my 10 year old shelves and show you some of his books that he loves. So we've got some great chapter series here. Will Nuts, now this one is great for kids as, as young as maybe eight years old. Um, it's, Kind of comic book style, I think Diary would be kid style, those fun color pages, um, pictures. Kids that age, they still love pictures. So these are great for 10, like an eight years old on up. Even my 15 year old son, he loves to read these. Um, this one and this one also, my 15 year old has loved because so much for him, he's reading, you know, classics and all these bigger books in school. Sometimes he just needs something like this for a good brain break. Okay, so this is Cosentino. Maybe you're familiar with Cosentino. He is an escape artist and has been on some of those America's Got Talent shows. There's a picture of him there if he looks familiar at all. He is now an author and he has this fun series for kids um, about this magician. Cosentino, The Grand Illusionist, and every book has a magic trick or two to learn in it. So, super fun there. Bear Grylls, maybe you know Bear Grylls. Um, Survivalist, we've got a fun series from him with all of these cool adventures. Okay, so those are some of my 10 year olds. Now, a couple others that both of my boys have enjoyed also, they love these little pocket books. We've got reptiles, mammals, dogs, cats, ocean, animals, um, a few other ones. They love these. They love all these fact things. Coding for beginners using Scratch. My 10 year old is involved in um, a coding club after school and he has really loved this book for helping him with Scratch. We also have a coding for beginners using Python. Okay, moving on to my 13-year-old shelves. Now, my 13-year-old daughter has been my reluctant reader. Probably a lot of you have one of those in your home. So, here's some that she's loved, Ella Diaries. These, I would say, for kids as young as maybe 9 or 10 also, and it's probably been a year, year or two since my daughter has read these. Uh, think Dork Diaries, Diary of a Wimpy Kid style. Um, and then EJ12. Okay, I love this series. Um, EJ is typical schoolgirl by day and then special agent by night and sometimes during the day. Um, solving mysteries, cracking codes, helping to take down the bad guys. Really a good book with a strong female hero. Okay, this is what my 13 year old is currently reading. If you're really familiar with Osborne, you may be familiar with this series, Conspiracy 365. The books are titled The Months of the Year. Um, when they came out, they came out one book every year. Uh, it's about a boy named Cal, 15-year-old boy. He's told that he's got to survive the next 365 days, and so it's counting down the year. He's trying to solve this family mystery. He gets framed for trying to kill his sister. He's on the run from the police. There's these bad guys after him. He doesn't know why. Each book leaves you hanging. This is a good series. I enjoyed this series. Um, my oldest daughter's enjoyed it, and now my 13-year-old is reading it. She's about halfway through, and she can hardly put it down. So I'm so happy for that. 48 Hours. This is a brand new series from the same author, Gabriel Lord. So when my daughter is done with Conspiracy 365, she'll move on to this one. Um, my 15 year old son read this one. It's not exactly his style of book, but he did enjoy it as well. Okay, um, here's my 15 year old son shelves. Now some of these books he's had for a while. Um, Operation Robot Storm. This is the Mythical Ninth Division series. He read these when he was probably nine and 11. It's got some pictures in there. Um, basically three Yetis trying to save the world. 
Extreme Adventures. This is a really popular series for kids um, starting about eight years old for those um, good readers on up. Impossible Quest. This is another one that I read and I really enjoyed it. Um, the Castle is Under Attack, The Kitchen Boy, The Princess, and I think a Night in Training Escape, and they've got to go find help to save the castle. Anna Jiffy, really good series, The Impossible Quest. The Sword of Kuramori. This is a trilogy, and my son has loved this one. He, the other day, he said, it's kind of like Harry Potter, but it's in Japan. So, there you go. Um... Harry Potter fans, that's a good one. Okay, illustrated adventure stories. I love, love, love our illustrated stories books. Pictures, they take, this one takes some of the classic stories like The Count of Monte Cristo, The Three Musketeers, um, simplifies them for kids and puts it in these beautiful books. The Clockwork Sparrow, this is actually one that I read for myself um, back in London, um, old London times, there's working at this store, there's a, a theft that happens, so mystery, there's four books in this series now. Okay, some from my 17 year old daughter's shelves, the star of Del Toro series, there are I believe four books in this series, um, the girl hides away on a merchant ship, if I'm remembering this right, it's been a while. Um, uh, I don't know what to say with it. Anyway, it's a good series. My daughter enjoyed it. If you want to know more, we can get you more information. Butterflies. This is a really good story about a girl who's almost 18 years old. She has been burned when she was little, and she still has scars from it. This is a very good book um, for anybody to read, just about her, um, her, her journey. Um, and with pain and trauma, so butterflies. Couple activity books, so write your own storybook. These are so fun, we've got a few of these, and my daughter, you can see, she's filled out quite a bit, but um, it has prompts for story writing in it. There's some comic things in there. It uh, gives you some words to use in your stories. A really good one for writing and being creative. Big color by number book. I love color by numbers. And this one again, these are from my 17 year old daughter's shelves. Okay, there's one that she started. There we go. So color by numbers. The magic painting book. You might think these are only for kids, but big kids like these too. So it comes with a paintbrush. This one is gone. You just get the brush wet, and then as you paint the page, the colors magically appear. Love those ones. Okay, real quick, I am almost done here. These are some from our family bookshelf. My boys especially love the fact books, 100 Things to Know About Science. We also have History, Space, 100 Things to Know About Food, About Your Body, Understanding Politics and Government. So good. Lift the flap periodic table. Okay, my daughter, last year when she was a junior, she used this to help her with her chemistry homework. There are flaps in it, yes, and it is colorful and it is fun. But even your big kids will learn from this and enjoy it. My husband is an engineer and he thinks that book's pretty cool. Okay, last one to show. This is one of our Shine a Light books. If you're not familiar with these, they're these are so cool. You read these with a flashlight. You shine the light behind the page. I don't have a flashlight with me. And the image magically will appear through. So a few years ago, I had the idea that I was going to start getting all of my kids these books so that when they are older and they have their own kids, they have this series of books for their kids because these books are that amazing. Um, so ask me or ask your consultant about our flashlight books. These are awesome. Okay, that is all I have for you now, but hopefully now um, you realize that we do have a lot of books for older kids and even some that adults enjoy as well. Happy reading.